Well, I am driving down PCH in Southern California on my way to Wilmington where we're going to be visiting a very important historic original location. I'm thinking I may have missed it. Oh, oh wait, I see it. It's coming. And just past Ronan Avenue, we have arrived. And there she is, folks, the very first Wiener Schnitzel. The original in front of your very eyes. Okay, I'm feeling quite ravenous, so let's go in and get some food first. There's that beautiful Wiener Schnitzel, the very first one, wow. Well, I was gonna eat outside, but it's just, just way too cold and way too windy. You're not gonna be able to hear anything anyway. So we're eating inside. Look at this, look what I got. I got the food tray, check that out. Slaps right on there. Okay, so I was feeling like I had a little bit too much energy today, so I decided to get a junkyard dog and some Thousand Island fries, chili cheese fries, just to, to slow me down a little bit. Gotta sanitize now, definitely gotta sanitize. Oh yeah, these are good. They're just chili cheese fries with Thousand Island on them. They're so good. Oh yes, I've been to many a wiener schnitzel in my day. No stranger to the menu, but never been to the first original Der Wiener Schnitzel. There is the junkyard dog, uh, chili cheese fries, onions, and mustard, but I got sans mustard. I'm not a mustard guy. All right, I'm gonna enjoy these items and spew some Der Wiener Schnitzel facts at ya. So first off, the founder of Wiener Schnitzel, John Gallardi, used to actually work at a Taco Bell and then even became friends with the founder of Taco Bell, Glenn Bell. But John had higher aspirations. He wanted to start his own restaurant, but he made sure to check in with his boss, Glenn Bell, to make sure it was okay with him before he did anything else. And good old Glenn Bell said, sure thing, buddy. Start whatever restaurant you want. Just promise me one thing, don't sell any tacos. So John thought that was fair. So he looked around, saw what the other fast food competitors were doing. Taco Bell had tacos, McDonald's was doing burgers, but he thought, hey, nobody is selling hot dogs. So he decided to start selling grilled hot dogs at 15 cents a piece. And then after John had the idea to sell hot dogs, it was even Glenn Bell's wife who had the idea to name the restaurant Der Wiener Schnitzel. But the name is kind of off because if they wanted to be grammatically correct in German, the name should have been Das Wiener Schnitzel. And on top of that, they don't even sell Wiener Schnitzel, the German breaded veal dish. They just sell hot dogs. So why is their restaurant called Wiener Schnitzel? But they actually ended up dropping the Der from the name in 1977, and it's just been known as Wiener Schnitzel ever since. And remember that awesome old gothic lettered logo that they used to use? I love that thing, but they replaced it with the simpler W that they still use. I think they should go back to the retro logo though, like Burger King and Pizza Hut have done. But that current W logo that's used was designed by Saul Bass, who designed a ton of other logos like the Quaker Oats guy, AT&T, and Kleenex. And he also did a ton of movie posters like The Shining, The Man with the Golden Arm, and Vertigo. The guy who did The Shining poster did the Wiener Schnitzel logo. That's crazy. So, in 1961, John opened up this very Wiener Schnitzel, the first Der Wiener Schnitzel fast food right here in Wilmington, California. But the building's changed a little bit over the years. It used to be that really cool classic A-frame style building. But even though they changed it in 2013, the Los Angeles City Council added this location to its registry of historic and cultural landmarks. You better believe it is. And I got one last fact for you. Wiener Schnitzel serves over 120 million hot dogs every single single year. That's a lot of red hots. All right, just about done with my meal now. Back to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit to the very first Wiener Schnitzel and you learned a little bit. Pretty cool to be at the place where it literally all started, but they don't have a restroom here, so I got to get going. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy, and these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats and all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video and this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. Alright, you did it? Okay. I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats and all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button, subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. Throw on that very.